Well, hello everybody. This is Lucy Kelleher and I am a close to my heart maker here in California. And today, I know it's been a while since I've done any lives on my Facebook page, but life has gotten in the way. And um, I've been working a lot in my VIP group. So if you are not a maker and you are not in my VIP group, would love to have you join me. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about one of our current card kits that's going away at the end of the month. Um, it is in our July-August supplemental book, and it's the paper pack or featured paper pack of the month, which is this beautiful Isabella paper here. Um, it's just gorgeous. It has some really vibrant colors. And uh, we also we have the paper pack. We have coordinating cardstock. We have Cricut Cuts or Digital Art uh, Picture My Life cards. Really cool acrylic shapes. We have stamp set and thin cuts. We have a workshop kit for scrapbooking. And then what I'm going to be showing you right now is the card kit, which is really cool. It's actually a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. Um, it wasn't one of my favorites in the beginning, I'm going to be honest with you. So when you watch this, if you wouldn't mind commenting commenting below if you're watching live or replay, and where you're watching from, that would be awesome. So our kits, now remember, close to my heart is Let Me Show You How Company. So our kits are fabulous because pretty much everything you need is in there except for adhesive and inks. So this is the, the kit right here for the card workshop. You always get full color instructions with every workshop kit. So, and in this particular one, we're going to be making 16 cards, four cards, each of four designs. Now I'm not going to do all 16 tonight. I'm actually going to show you the four completed and I'm going to make one of them in front of you. Now, what's really neat, too, is there's usually a featured technique in the workshop kit. On this particular one, it's building stamp images and paper distressing. So kind of cool. You may or may not know about it. Um, each kit also has an exclusive stamp set and thin cut, which is right here. Exclusive meaning the only way you can get this stamp and thin cut is inside this particular workshop kit. The only way. And then when this kit goes away, this goes away as well. So here's this really cool Isabella card making workshop stamp set kit. And as you can see, there's a couple of um, images here that have blue on them. Um, there are four total. If you can see that, maybe come in blue down below. What that means is there is a corresponding thin cut. So instead of having to grab your scissors and fussy cut around the image after you stamp it, there's a metal die that can be used in any thin cut machine. Hey, Della. Um, any thin cut machine to cut out the image for you. And there's two different ways you can do that. One is to stamp and then use the uh, die cut to cut around it. The other is to cut the, Im uh, cut the image out, then stamp, which is what I'm going to show you tonight. So in this particular set, there are one, two, three, four, five, six different uh, die cuts. The one here, the big one, this one here, this one here, where it says cheers. There's a little, I don't even know what that is. It's like a little fly bug of some kind, a flower and the sun. Those are all images here, especially those smaller ones. Sometimes it's harder to cut around. All right. With, then you're going to get all of the card bases and envelopes that you need to put these together. You are also going to get all the paper you need to cut. So here are the beautiful colors of cardstock you're getting with this. And this is, uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember the color. I believe this is Flamingo or Ballerina. I think it's Flamingo, Sapphire, and Mink. And then this is the beautiful Isabella paper. All of our pattern paper is double-sided. So I'm not sure if you can see the image on this side. It's got a light little kind of almost a canary yellow. They're almost like little diamond pattern. If you can see that, comment diamond pattern below. So that's our double-sided paper. All of our papers are double-sided. Um, they are true 12 by 12 and at the top of every paper you're going to see a zip strip which is what you see on the top of this paper. One side has the text so it tells you the name of the paper and the colors the coordinate and then because Close to My Heart hates waste we added on the other side a pattern of some kind so that you can cut this strip off so it's a half an inch by 12. You can chop it up, you can use the whole thing if it's a scrapbook page or whatever you want to use it, and your paper is left to be 12 by 12. So you get all that. You're going to get any embellishments that we use in this kit, 
And in this particular one, it's these little gems. And then, like I said, your step-by-step -step and direct directions on top of all this. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and show you. how to put one of these cards together. So with the instructions, um, you're gonna have both pictures and text, which is great. So no matter which way you learn, you're gonna be able to follow along in doing this. I personally am very visual, but I also like to have text to kind of follow um, to make sure I'm doing things in the right order because sometimes if you don't go in a certain order, you could mess up a project. Now it's something we can always fix, but you know, if you wanna make it exactly the way it is in the packet, you should follow the directions. So it tells you right here how to get started. There's a little key or a legend. There's that zip strip I was telling you about. And what we did for this particular one is we chopped it up and we have four of them that are a half inch by four and a quarter. So we're gonna be using that in one of the cards. Then you're gonna see a little picture here with how to cut each paper so that number one, you get all the, the pieces you need, but also you're gonna have some leftover paper to be able to use perhaps on other projects right not a lot but some and then you'll see here here's card one and we've got the picture of how of what it's going to look like we have the measurements of where each goes in case you want to follow along instead of doing your own thing. And then here it just tells you what to do. You're going to take the white paper image, you're going to use the large label die, and you're going to use ink, mink, and sapphire. Then here it just tells you the directions to put them in. So that card, let's see, where's the stamp set? So the stamp set's really actually a lot cooler than I thought it was. Um, because there are these images that are only halves. Like, so when you look at this right here, it looked like you might have had to stamp this whole thing. The top and the bottom are actually mirror images of each other, which I thought was really neat. So we have happy birthday, every moment, together, fabulous, cheers, simply enjoy, we pair well, age to perfection, and then some really cool icons and elements to add a little extra something to your cards or projects. So the one, let's see here, we'll show you this first one. This is called Every Moment. And we did some scissor distressing here on the side. So I'm gonna show you how to do that tonight. And then we have the little uh, sparklies on the top and the bottom. You'll see right here, and if you can see, we lifted that little image there. I think it's a little like fly of some kind. Oh, sorry, that's my phone, I apologize. Let me turn that off. Okay, let me put that back up. Here we go. Um, and then we've got, uh, we stamped the mirror images. So this one just says, enjoy every moment, which is a really neat sentiment. The next one is, it says, cheers. And again, you're going to see this really neat little icon here on the left and the right. You get two of them because this, it scrolls up here on the corner. Very cool little details that if you don't look closely you're going to miss so it's a very cool stamp set and then we just took our paper remember it's designer paper it's two-sided so here's one side here's the other and we lifted that up so that's card two card three is a happy birthday now here's the thing you could put this together and if you don't need birthday cards you know you could say uh every moment you could say cheers you can mix it up or you can even use a different sentiment on it from another set you might have so right here we used the little element right there added the icons did the mirror image and that's the happy birthday card the one we're going to do really quickly tonight is this one right here and I did like this happy birthday because I don't know about you, but I always need birthday cards. Always, always, always need birthday cards. And so it's always, I like to have the extras. So when I cut my kits, I um, go ahead and I put all the pieces together um, until I'm, until I put all 16 cards together. I don't want to lose pieces. So I grab the envelope. I take the card base. And by the way, the card bases that we give you and that we sell, we sell them in a pack of 50 cards and envelopes. It's only like $15.95, so it's a screaming deal. I don't know if you can see this, but they are pre-scored. So if you can see that, if you can comment scored. So they're pre-scored to make it easier for you right there. So that's another really great thing. You don't have to worry about uh, how to fold them. All right, so in this particular kit, we're going to be using Flamingo for this card and Sapphire. I love Sapphire, and you can see this Sapphire ink pad is very well loved uh, because I kind of consider it the new black, quite frankly. 
So let's go ahead and stamp our images really quick. Every one of our stamp sets, you're going to get one of these little foam bases. And these foam bases are great because they're going to help you get a really clean image. And even though I'm on a wood table, right, and I've got my Versamat that's really firm, I will still put this underneath my paper to stamp because every once in a while, depending on the intricate, how intricate the stamp might be, you're going to need to make sure that... Uh, you get a good firm image. So what's really cool is we are the forerunners of the acrylic stamps. So that means acrylic block, acrylic stamp. You, it's not a rubber stamp that you can't see through. It is a block and a clear stamp. That way I can see all the way through. What I'm going to do is just make sure I've lined this up, and I think I'd have right there so that it'll stamp correctly. I'm going to use our Flamingo ink, and our ink pads are magnetic. How cool is that? If you haven't seen that before, then you haven't seen our products. I'm going to go ahead. It's a little challenging because I usually stand over it, and I put my head over it, but I don't want to put my head underneath the camera. So I'm just going to stamp like that. So pretty good. Set that aside. Put this here. I'm going to use our Stamp Chamois, which is for the cleaner, and it's just a blue, really cool chamois. Now, mine has got a lot of ink and color on it, but I've been using this for probably a year. They come two to a package, so you will, you'll just get to use this forever and ever, and I just put it in this cute little ramekin um, with a little bit of water uh, while I'm using it. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. So I've got the little, let's see here, I've got this right here and then I need to stamp the rest of the image. Let me get that water out of the way. So I'm going to take the sapphire ink and as you can see I've used this already. So our stamps are clear. Sometimes they will have ink that cannot come off of it. Nothing happens. It, it doesn't um, hurt the integrity of the stamp. Um, it's just that some inks stain while others don't. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. And again, make sure when you're inking, unless you're intentionally rocking for a technique, uh, move your um, stamp up and down so that there no ink gets on the sides. Because what will happen is when you stamp, if by accident you rock this and you got ink, you're going to get ink all over your project where you may not have wanted it. So really cool. I'm just going to go ahead and put this here at the top. And again, let's see how close I can get to this, given I can't put my head over it. Right there. Stamp straight down and back up. Oh, not too shabby. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off really quickly. I usually set them aside and um, wait to wipe them off, but I kind of feel like I should probably do the right thing since you're watching. And then I've got uh, the little line right here. Isn't that really cute? Right there. Can you see that in other projects that you could use that on where um, it'll be, you could border a card, border an image, um, you know, border a sentiment on all four sides or two sides. So again, I'm going to ink that up and it fits right perfectly on the bottom of this. And again, up and down. So I get a nice clean image. Now, I mean, I'm going to wipe this one off because I need to use this block again. I tried to find another one of these blocks by this size, and I couldn't. So let me do that really quickly. And then I would always encourage you, and I don't do this and I've gotten in trouble, is put the stamps back on the carrier sheet. Um, they're really sticky. And if you accidentally, you know, put this down on the stamp or anything, it could easily pick it up if it's not in the carrier sheet, and then you can easily lose the stamp. Or if you do what I've done where I don't take them off the block right away and I don't know what stamps that they go back to. <laughs> Have you ever done that before? Comment below. So this one says um, hope, believe, faith. I had used this on uh, some project and apparently forgot to take it off the block and cleaned everything up and have no idea what it belongs to. So now it stays there until I find that stamp set again. All right, this one I am going to do happy birthday because I, like I said earlier, I always need birthday cards, so I'm just going to go ahead and plop that on, try to make it as straight as I can, ink this up, and we're going to put it right here. And again, since I can see, it's, I can try to center it as much as I can, straight down and then straight back up, so in case any of the ink got on the side. All right, the only thing I have left now is, I don't know if you saw this, but up here... It says, aged to perfection. How cool is that? I mean, what a fun card. 
And we're going to use the Flamingo ink for that. So you could leave that blank. You could put little sparklies up there. You could write something up there. You could write 40th or 30th or special or whatever it is you want. But I just, I really liked this age to two perfection stamp and it fits just perfectly in that slot. Isn't that cool? Look at that. And there's actually another, uh, we pair well goes up there as well. Enjoy and simply all fit in that little spot. So that's a really cool, cool thing. So now we are ready to put this card together. And I got a little water on there from when I was cleaning. All right, this card was made horizontally. So I'm going to go ahead and put it this way. And I'm going to take this matted paper. And when I look at the directions, if I want to make this exactly the same as it is in the kit, and again, it's up to you whether you want to, but I really like the way this is set up. It says it's down by three eighths and it's in by three eighths. So I'm going to do is grab my adhesive, put it across the back. I usually use um, this Tombow liquid glue, uh, but I ran out of it and I didn't have time. I forgot to get it before I went live, so I'm going to be using this Tombow. So I'm adding probably a little more than I normally would. Now, you know, 3 eighths is such an odd number. I really, I, I don't know why 3 eighths, but what I try to do is I just try to center it, eyeball it. Let's see here. So I'm going to come in. I usually start by doing one side and one top to try to make it as close as I can. Here's the thing, if it's not perfect, it's not like the person getting the card is gonna say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you gave me a crooked card, right? What they're gonna say is, thank you so much for thinking so much of me that you made this beautiful card and sent it in the mail. That's what they're gonna say. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is take the blue sapphire paper. There's a light side and a dark side, like all of our paper, our cardstock is. We're gonna do the dark. So when you buy our card, our card stock, um, if you buy one pack of one color, you're actually almost getting two colors. It's kind of a double, cool double whammy. All right, so and I love use, doing this on our Versamat because it really helps. If I wanted to be very precise, I'd grab a ruler and line it up. But at least this gives me a general idea. And then this, it tells me, goes in by about half an inch. So I'm going to, again, just kind of eyeball it. Put it right about there. Now, here's where the Distress Scissors come in. Okay, we have these fabulous scissors called uh, Microtip. They are fabulous. They're very, 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 very sharp. Uh, we have one set that are non-stick, meaning uh, it's great so that when you cut through something, if it has adhesive, it won't stick to the scissors. And then we have our regular ones. Now, what I'm going to do, and we're going to use the light side. I'm going to take the scissors and I'm just going to start, I don't know if you can hear that. If you can hear that, comment below, S distress. So here's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to, as much as you want, you start off light, because once you do this, you can't add the little peepers, the, the paper that's come off back, but you can do more if you want. So you just lightly take it down the side, and it's going to give it this really cool, distressed, feel to it which some people really like um some people are okay with it's just something fun to learn something to have in your toolbox for when you're creating stuff if you want to add a little something something to a project you know to add a little distressing to the paper and our cardstock is white core so it looks really cool uh close up uh, because of that white core on the inside I'm going to go ahead. I'm almost done on all four sides. Just be really careful, especially if you're using our scissors, uh, not to keep it too close to your face and to really be paying attention. Don't look away when you're doing this. Our scissors are incredibly sharp and I've had some massive cuts because I wasn't paying attention. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some adhesive here. And our scissors are definitely not for use by children. Just FYI, you never want to give a child one of our scissors because they are sharp. All right, so now I'm going to add this piece of flamingo, and it comes up one and one eighth. I don't know who created this one and one eighth. All right, so there's one and then about halfway on that. So I'm just going to line it up a little bit right there. 
All right, it's off across there. This is the zip strip I was telling you about earlier. Or, oh, no, I'm sorry. This isn't a zip strip. This is the other side of the paper. I'm going to go ahead and pop that on uh, right there in the middle. See, it looks like a zip strip. And I could have used a zip strip if I liked what the zip strip would have looked like. <laughs> All right, so again, I'm going to use this versa mat to kind of line it up you know because sometimes when you go to put a piece down like this it looks like it's straight and then all of a sudden it's just off by just enough that once you notice it it starts to bother you um and it's not even necessarily that the person receiving the card will see it but you know it all right so i'm going to go ahead and kind of line that up Ooh, maybe a little higher right there Right there, just like that. Next, I'm going to pop this up a little bit with some of our 3D foam tape. We have two types of foam tape. We have 3D, uh, uh, well, we have, okay, four, really. So we have rolls and we have dots. So the rolls come together like this, where you get a thin and then you get a thicker. The thin is about a quarter inch. The thicker Oh, it's almost half an inch and then we have them in regular 3d foam which is a little thicker higher and then we have thin 3d foam if you're at all concerned about your uh, layouts or your cards for the mail um, and, and you like to do a lot of embellishing a lot of dimension you may want to consider uh, stocking up in the thin 3d foam tape because it gives it just enough dimension without adding too much bulk so I'm going to go ahead and just bring this along the side. You can either cut this or you can tear it. Um, when I'm in a hurry, I just tear it. It doesn't have to be precise, right? I just want enough on there so that it, whoops, so that it pops up. There we go. And it's double-sided. Oh, very sticky. Good 3D foam tape. And then I'm just going to peel the back off. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. So you see I got a little extra there, so I'm just going to do this and pop it right there in the middle. Peel off the tape. It's very easy to peel off, but we do have something really special coming in September that's going to help you with this. Um, but I can't tell you about it. I can just tell you that. So then I'm going to go ahead and then just center this right here um, on my... Let's see here. I'm going to go up just a little bit. I want the crown up right about there. And then I'm going to take these sparkle gems and put one on either side. They are already, they're adhesive backed already. So I'm just going to slide it off. Whoops. There we go. And then just add it. Oh, it's really hard when you've got nails. Ugh. Just add it right. I promise you. Um, It's gone. So let me try the other one. Oh, that's really funny. This is what happens when you go live. I'm going to actually slide this one off like this make it a little easier put that right there and let's see what did i do with the others well you know what i'm going to add that later um because i'm not quite sure what happened to it it rolled away off of my paper okay the last thing i'm going to do is add this cute little flower that we stamped. And again, if I had my thin 3D foam dots with me, I would use them. So instead, because I want a very small piece, I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors for this one. Just like that. I'm going to put it on the back of this cute little flower. And our little flower is just going to go right there in the middle. And that's how quick and easy it is to make that card. Isn't that fun? So again, this is the Isabella. That's really going to bother me. I'll probably find it stuck to something later. Um, this is the Isabella card making kit. Again, you this will be available through the end of August. This is our featured collection, paper collection for the month of August. With this kit, you're going to make 16 cards for each of four designs. Everything is included except adhesive and the inks you're going to need. Um, and the three colors that we use for this are Flamingo, Sapphire, and mink. Um, if you don't have these colors, if you have something similar, I'm sure that'll work too. Otherwise, what I always recommend to people if they're trying to start uh, building up their collection of our inks is instead of just buying colors indiscriminately, buy the colors you need for each kit and then the next kit you get, more often one or two of the colors will be included in that kit as well. So you can slowly add to your collections. So again, this is the birthday card. And we have another, I think this was actually a different sentiment, but I wanted birthday, so that's the other card. 
And then we have this card here. And finally, this card, which I really love every moment. Now, if you can see that, we distressed that. If you can see the distress, if you can comment distress. So those are the card kits. This is how you put them together. Again, available through the end of August. If you have any questions, please comment below or send me a direct message. Thanks so much for popping on. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Monday evening and for the week. This is Lucy Kelleher from Close to My Heart. See you later. Bye-bye.